Hello guys and girls, uh, this is Spike. Welcome to our channel and welcome to our first ever thrifting video. This video is a collection of all the thrifting I did last year. All the clips from all these stores were meant to be uh, standalone videos, but I've decided to put together everything in one uh, big long video, so apologize for the size of the video. I promise the next uh, thrifting videos will be a lot smaller than this one. So bear with me, watch until the end, I hope you enjoy it. My first stop was at this Goodwill store in uh, East Boca Raton. Uh, I've never been to this store before, I was passing by in front of it and I decided to take a look inside to see if I found something interesting. Immediately I found this Playmobil toy. It's a, it's a van, it's a camper and it was in actually pretty good shape, you know, it's missing some parts. I saw it was missing like a hubcap and uh, of course it's missing all the figures and the accessories that come with it but you know it was it was in pretty good shape it was not very much played with I'm missing a few things from the inside but most things uh, seem to be in there table beds it's also missing a rear view mirror and at 499 it was a really uh, good uh, good price for this one so I decided to pick it up usually it's this sells for $75 complete in box, uh, but just for the van for $4.99, I thought it was actually a pretty good deal, and I decided to get it. Next, I found this little brown box. Uh, I opened it and it was inside was some sealed packages of uh, minifigures. Uh, I immediately saw they were not actual Lego. This uh, is probably some knockoff brand from China and they were all, they all military look like. They had guns, ton of accessories and the instructions were in Chinese. So right, right then and there I saw, okay, this is not real Lego, but it actually looks pretty cool. So I decided to pick this one up. It will make a pretty good video uh, later on. I think uh, I'm gonna take a look at this, open these packages and see the quality of these uh, minifigures and these accessories. And for $4.99, it was a really bargain. I, I had to have it. On this uh, shelves here, there are some Barbie toys, some Hot Wheels on, uh, on, uh, on a plastic bag, some used ones. I don't buy used Hot Wheels. A lot of board games, you know, uh, not not very interesting board games, some girls toys, uh, some children's books, nothing really, really that caught my attention here. So I did not pick up anything here. There's nothing that uh, would fit any of my collections. Again, children's books. And I decided to take a look at the front of the store, you know, of course. A lot of clothing, like any other Goodwill store these days. Uh, on the front case, a lot of PlayStation 2, uh, PS3, Wii, Xbox 360, some PS4 sports games. Uh, not really uh, that caught my attention. Uh, there was a rock band, but I think I have that one. Some Netgear routers. Nothing really, really interesting here. Now we are at a Goodwill store at uh, West Boca Raton, uh, across the, all the way across the city. And this is a bigger store, but uh, over the years, this store has been really uh, turning into a clothing store more than anything. But we still can find some interesting things here. So let's take a look. Some luggage. Uh, some universal pizza stone for $9.99. Actually, quite interesting, but no, not today. Not gonna take this. Some stereo. Uh, this store is pretty good for, uh, you know, old electronics. I always found interesting things here. This uh, Dritrola uh, CD uh, players actually looking pretty nice, you know, and you also have a uh, uh, vinyl player on the top you know really interesting but not today as well although 20, 29.99 you know looks like a pretty good deal but you know these electronics you never know if they're actually working and these people don't take returns so 
it was a pass for me, uh, some printers not interested. This very interesting uh, VCR, you know, it looked pretty new. It still had stickers, you know, there was a Samsung Blu-ray player here. Uh, Blu-ray or CD player, I'm, I'm not sure. But also a pass, not taking this. Now this was interesting. You know, a Philips sound system. I'm, I've been looking for one of these in quite some time, but you know, this one is missing the, the speakers. So it's not a full complete set, but I'm looking for a desktop, you know, CD music player like this one for quite some time. Uh, haven't found one yet that pleases me. A desktop computer. Um, again, no way to test these things. Uh, kind of risky to buy them unless they're like five or ten dollars. Now here I found this really uh, interesting truck, you know, you can find these trucks at Target brand new, but this one was in pretty good shape for like $3, $2.99, uh, but no, I decided not to get it, there was also a, a fire truck, but I'm not collecting these kind of toys uh, at the moment. Again. Clothing and clothing and clothing. If you want clothes, if you want uh, some used clothes, this is the place to come. Now the media section, it's a pretty big media section here, some books. Uh, I always look through these books. Sometimes I find uh, interesting books, gaming books, you know, but not here, you know, a lot of uh, random stuff that's not interesting at all. Some CDs and when I visited the store, I was not actually collecting CDs, and uh, but right about this time I started collecting, so I kind of regret not picking up anything from the store. You know, there was a lot of things. There was some vinyl. Uh, my son collects vinyl. I'm not collecting vinyl right now. Um, on the movie section, there's always some games, and I found a, a stack of Wii games here, but you know, some really uh, shovelware, <laughs> a lot of shovelware, Wheel of Fortune. The Bachelor, you know, who, who wants to play these games? Uh, there was a very interesting um, Heavy Rain Director's Cut for the PS3, but it was missing everything. And uh, pretty new uh, PlayStation 2 Disney Sing It, but I, I don't buy these singing games, you know, unless, unless they come in a bundle or something. I buy them on eBay, but usually I don't pick up these things. Uh, some movies, some DVD movies. Um, I try to stay away from DVD movies for now. I only pa I only pick up uh, anything that's really special. If you have a, so a special edition DVD, there was an Entourage uh, DVD there that I saw later that I I really regret not picking up because I found some Entourage uh, stuff later on and I I picked those up. So I'm, it's a series I have n uh, have uh, watched yet. So I'm trying to get all the the seasons so I can watch them at once. Again, more music uh, CDs. I always look cl these closely because they can... Uh, a lot of PS PS1 games are in the middle of these uh, music CDs, so that's something I always look through. Another Goodwill store. Uh, this is a Goodwill Superstore in Deerfield Beach, uh, Florida. Very close to Boca Raton. This is a store, I usually donate to this store. And uh, it used to be a store that had a lot of media, a lot of electronics, toys. I've got a lot of stuff from this store in the past, but right now you, you don't see too much. You know, there's not much here. Again, book section, a lot smaller than it used to be. Um, a very, very meager uh, DVD section. <laughs> a lot of Hispanic uh, bootleg DVDs here that I decided to pass on, you know, some DVD movies, also a pass for me, you know, nothing really interesting here. Uh, there was these, uh, these boxed uh, uh, friend seasons, and I just, uh, I, I took a look at them, and uh, I went to look on the music CDs, and the guy just came and snatched those three uh, box sets immediately. I would buy them, they were like $2 a piece two three dollars a piece so they were a pretty good uh, deal um, looking through the CDs here you know I found this uh, 
quite interesting uh, Microsoft uh, Sidewinder installing uh, uh, installation CD. I don't have a Sidewinder. I never liked those uh, con Microsoft controllers, but yeah, I decided to leave it on. Uh, did not pick that up. A lot of uh, DVD players, Blu-ray players here. Uh, a Blu-ray. I'm also in the market for a good Blu-ray player, but nothing like this. You know, I, I want something better. You know, I've seen others in other stores uh, better stuff that I did not pick up. I'm looking for a good Blu-ray player, if I can find one on these uh, thrift stores. Um, very interesting here, Panasonic VHS. Like this is old school, the one that they eject on the top. Uh, also not interested. Uh, many keyboards. You know, this brand new uh, Lenovo keyboard, really brand new. It was in the box. It was not used at all, you know, it was even smell like new. Uh, but no, I don't like these. I like more of the clicky type of uh, keyboards. It's not my thing, this one. This e-machines, uh, also not very interesting, you know. I'm always on the look, uh, lookout for good keyboards. Um, I really like um, different keyboards, and but, you know, they have, they have to be good. You know, I'm not going to buy any, any keyboard that I see, you know. Uh, but this store has a lot a lot of keyboards not a brand new lenovo down there subwoofers uh sound bar you know sound bar is always interesting uh but this one looks like it's missing a power supply or power cable this one here another blu-ray player samsung kind of ugly didn't like it you know it, it all these blu-ray players are always missing the controllers some very nice crts here and uh, i was tempted to uh, to grab these uh, crts i really was uh they were not very expensive 20 bucks a piece you know but you know i kind of regret now letting them pass because i could have picked them up and uh, test them on um there's always a, a place for a good CRT in my collection. Especially a sharp one, you know. But this one, this one had no price, no controller. And I'm pretty sure I can find a controller for this one online. Uh, an RCA, bigger but less interesting. The sharp will be uh, my best option here. Now going to the toy section. Uh, Shoes, not interesting. Those, um, some puzzles, pretty nice puzzle. My wife uh, collects puzzles, um, especially uh, buffalo puzzles. They're some of the best puzzles uh, made. Now this was interesting. I saw those two um, kids um, uh, decoration room for kids. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm the one that donated these to the store. I am because I donated these exact to at this store not a long ago, uh, not long ago. So I think, I think those uh, used to be on my kids' rooms. Now my favorite thrift store in the area, it's the Autism Thrift Store in West Boca Raton, and it's really cool. This is, this store has a little bit of everything. You know, of course, like any other thrift store, it has a lot of clothing, but has a very good selection of movies, uh, music CDs, toys, and right out of the bat I found this uh, PlayStation 2 Karaoke Revolution Volume 2 uh, from Konami. I know I just said that I don't buy those singing games, but this is an exception. The disc was brand new, uh, and it's a Konami game, you know. Uh, I have to have, you know, I, I like to collect Konami games. It doesn't matter what they are. It's, if it's Konami, I'll get it. I know Konami became turned to shit in the recent years, but um, this is a PlayStation 2 era Konami game, so I pick it up at 2.99. Not a bad deal, and tons of movies, um, mostly uh, DVD movies, and sometimes you find some uh, good stuff here. As far as DVDs, I've bought some DVDs here in the past. But um, I mostly am, I am on the lookout for Blu-ray movies. You know, if I find any Blu-rays, 
it's a given that uh, if if it's a movie I don't have, it's in good shape, I'll get it. You know, this store, they have movies, Blu-ray, DVD, doesn't matter for a dollar. You know, they have box sets all the time. Uh, here you can see uh, uh, Sex in the City for $7.99, sealed, uh, complete box set, another sealed box set here for uh, Norton uh, Exposure. I don't know what that is. And I found some... Uh, you find some software here in the middle as well. There's an internet security uh, software that I was not interested. Um, it's a very cool store. Uh, more movies, and you always find uh, games. You know, here here I found the Frontlines, Fuel of War. I have this one for the Xbox 360. I don't have a Windows version, but uh, when I looked inside, uh, it has just one. Uh, CD. This game comes with three CDs on the PC version, so it was a pass for me. I decided not to pick it up. Uh, Rocky IV in DVD. If it, if it was a Blu-ray, I'll, I'll probably pick it up. Uh, I usually don't buy any of these, uh, these uh, CDs, but here there's a West Side Story in Blu-ray. 50th anniversary edition, uh, Wizard of Oz. Um, those, oh, I, I drop it. Uh, it's not damaged. I just drop it. Uh, but you know, both pretty good shape. You know, those are classic movies. There's an Xbox Ghost Recon 2. But when I check inside the box, it was just Kingdom Hearts for the PlayStation 2, and the, the disc was garbage. So uh, it was a pass from me. I decided not to pick this one up. And it was $7.99, you know, these people are nuts, you know, $7.99, Ghost Recon, they're crazy, you know, they really don't know how to price these things, but games, they use, they usually overprice these games, um, but the movies and the and the music CDs, uh, they're always a dollar each, you know, I've got, I use, uh, I've got some box sets here for a dollar, you'll see, you'll see later on the video, you know, some of the box sets I pick it up uh, later on, on another trip to the store. Um, now here are the music CDs, you know, there's always something here that uh, catches my eye. This time I found uh, this Yuchu Rattle and Hum, Rattle and Hum, you know, <laughs> it's uh, it's one of my favorites uh, from uh, YouTube, and I didn't have this one on CD, so it was a buy for me for a dollar. And you have to really look through because you always find something uh, interesting. You know, another uh, band that's always a pickup for me is the Beatles. And I just found here, please, please me. I have this one already, but this one was actually uh, pretty new. You know, brand new condition. And it's a slightly different version from the one I have. So it was a buy, just a dollar. And here I found uh, a Madonna uh, album that I have never uh, seen before. You know, I think it, this is the her latest one. Uh, it has a lot of uh, old songs from Madonna, a couple of new songs. You know, another artist that I'll always pick up uh, a CD if I find one. More CDs. There's some uh, movie soundtracks here. There's a lot of stuff, man. You can find ev almost everything here. There's always something. Uh, there's some always something for you. Now look at this. You, the owner's manual, updated and expanded edition, man. If you need a manual for your life, this is it, man. Get it. Eight hours, seven compact discs. Oh, look at this, Dr. Oz. I think I'm gonna get a pass on this one. Nah, Dr. Oz, I'm out. But if you're interested, you, the owner's manual, go pick it up.
my son was looking through some uh, hats here. Uh, we're always on the lookout for some cool hats, but there's nothing really good here. Yeah, nothing really interesting. Now I found a stack of Blu-rays. This is this is the stuff I'm always looking for. Look at Mission Impossible 3, The Lego Movie, The Wolf of Wall Street, uh, Sleeping Beauty. You know Disney movies. You always have to pick them. You know Disney Pixar Cars and uh, Maleficent with Angelina Jolie. You know you always have to any Disney uh, Blu-ray if you find you should pick it up. And then I found this, you know, uh, Memorex DVD-R 100-pack sealed uh, rewritable, writable DVDs, not rewritable, you know, for $7.99, you know, that was a pickup, instant pickup, you know, I'm always using these, I still use these all the time. And uh, on the glass case, you know, they keep some of the games. This was some other day that I came back to the store. So the Kingdom Hearts there with no cover now. Now Xbox uh, 360 for $39.99, but it's the white one. They include some games, but they're all music games. I, it was a pass for me. Now, uh, these are from a later time that I returned to that store, the Autism Thrift store, and I got a ton of stuff you know um, I didn't have my my phone fully charged so I could not make a video at the store but I got a Fleetwood Mac uh, REM CDs uh, Titans from uh, it's a band from Brazil uh, Racky Ralph uh, Blu-ray Mickey Blu-ray two movie collection and I got a box set of um, 24 with Kiefer Sutherland you know, I've never watched 24, you know, yeah, you can beat me up. I never watched this series, I um, was never too very interested on it. I know it's a pretty good, great series, but then I found all these box sets, season two, three, and four, for a dollar each. You know, I could not pass. I checked the CDs, they were all new, and I also found these, um, uh, this uh, Unbreakable, um, Samuel Jackson and Bruce Willis, I've watched this movie. Uh, when it came out back in 99, I think. And it's a pretty good movie. And this is a special edition of a lot of extras. So it's blue, it's it's DVD, not Blu-ray, but I'll always pick up DVDs uh, with a lot of uh, extras because uh, Blu-rays these days, you don't come with any extras, just the movie. Also found uh, Mary of the Children. Uh, it's the full, complete fourth season, uh, also on DVD. And... Uh, DVD for uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, the fourth movie, uh, The Curse of the Black Pearl. Um, it was in great shape, with a ton of extras. More Blu-rays, uh, Neighbors with Seth Rogen, pretty funny movie. I watched the original from the 70s, not this one yet. Uh, and I found this Minecraft book. Uh, it was a pretty cool, uh, cool book, you know, a lot of uh, great art. Uh, also a dollar you know it was brand new and i love minecraft it's a great game it's really cool and uh i decided to pick it up for my collection now look at this all this stuff that you saw here 14 dollars 15 dollars for everything you know really 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 cheap you know a dollar each of these uh box sets a uh, dollar each Blu-ray, a dollar for the book. If you get something like that, you can't pass by. You know, these box sets, they have like eight DVDs inside. It's the, the entire the entire uh, season. And they have uh, a buttload of extras that I really enjoy uh, watching. I always watch those extras on any of those Blu-rays uh, Blu and DVDs. But yeah, like I said, Blu-rays usually... They're not coming with any extras, you know, lately. It's just a movie. So that's it. You know, this was a, a pretty good uh, haul. Now let's take a look at the Salvation Army Family Store in Pompano Beach. Um, normally it's a store I don't go to often. I actually have been here before only once. And I found uh, an Xbox and PlayStation 1 games here. So it's worth taking a look uh, once more. See what we can find here and 
right uh, in the front we see the media section with uh, a lot of uh, DVDs at first nothing that really catches uh, my eye here I'm actually looking for blu-rays not DVDs uh, again unless I find something really special as far as DVDs but so far nothing really catching my eye then I see this uh, blu-ray for Prometheo I think it's the Spanish version of Prometheus so yeah it was a pass I see some uh, blu-rays over there um, let's, let's take a look every time every time I see a white case you know it might be a Wii game so it's always worth uh, taking a, a good look uh, transparent cases might be PlayStation 3 games more DVDs oh Sarah Paley no thanks but no put it back right away Stallone First Blood really really good movie that one was sealed but I decided to pass Yeah, not, nothing really interesting as far as uh, DVDs here. There was a Napoleon Dynamite there. And uh, here... Ah, here's a Blu-ray. Immortals. Never, never heard about this movie. Yeah. Oh, there's no movie. Yeah, that's that's a constant on these uh, on these stores. Yeah, there's the digital copy there, but the actual Blu-ray is not there, so of course I'm not gonna pick that up. Some music CDs. Let's see if, if there's anything interesting here. Again, last time I've been to the store, I was looking through this uh, section. I found a couple of uh, PS1 games in the middle here. That was actually a Spiral 3. So you never know. There might be some uh, PlayStation games in there. A lot of these uh, employees at these stores, they they really don't differentiate like a music CD from a PlayStation 1 game. But it's been harder and harder to find PlayStation 1 games on the wild like this. Really, really hard. And uh, as far as music CDs here, no, I don't see anything really, really interesting. Yeah. Anytime I see like a paper box, I pick it up because it might be like a nice box set. Credence. Uh, I'm going to pass that. Very scratched uh, case. Here I saw this uh, Blu-ray, The Book of Eli. This is a great movie, man. Oh, it was actually it's just the paper sleeve. Not a movie. Oh, some Blu-rays. Now, now we're talking. That's what I was looking for. Let me see what they have here. Let's see what what are the goodies here. There's another. There's a few more there. Okay. So 2012. Don't remember watching this one to be honest. Yeah, documentary. No cover. Percy Jackson, Sea of Monsters, never heard of it. Um, Man of Steel, all right, this is a good one. Let's see if it's complete. Uh, there's the Blu-ray and uh, and the extras uh, disc, so great. Yeah, this one is awesome. I'll probably get that one. Uh, Immortal, never heard about this movie. I don't know. Looks new. There's a Blu ray. Oh, this one. Ender's Game? Nah. Oh, there's some stuff on the floor. I'm gonna pick it up. The Final Patient. Never heard about this one, so it's a pass. 
Batman the Dark Knight Dark Knight Returns okay this animation all right this is pretty cool I love the the comic Frank Miller didn't know they had an animation uh, of the comic so it's probably a buy for me little weapon not bad oh it's just a DVD inside no Peach Perfect, nah. National Lapoon Christmas Vacation. This is a pretty cool one. All right. Let's take a look at the disc. A little smudge there, but it looks good. Yeah, it's a good one. I'll think about it. Uh, the Hangover, unrated, sealed sealed copy this is cool you don't see that every day like a blu-ray sealed like that in a thrift store so and this 2012 here i'm not sure still a little bit on the fence on this one looks good i'll think about it yeah so six movies so far I'll think about these yeah not bad now I know this store usually they charge a little bit more uh, on the movies oh, let me see if I can find the, the prices oh here they are yeah CDs 99 DVDs 199 games 299 blu-rays 299 okay it's a huge contrast with the the autism thrift store that I like to go where all this stuff it's like a dollar so I have to think about this uh, I'll pass on the immortal I'll keep man of steel Batman the hangover national lampoon and this 2012 yeah looks cool let's see if I find something else all right, let's take a look here. Look, look, look how this store is messy, man. It's really messy. Look at the electronic section. Look at this. It's nothing usable here. I'm sorry. There's a receiver there. Yeah, there's a home theater receiver. Yeah, but I would not trust any of these uh, electronics here. They all look dirty and computer with the, the tray open you know the store is a mess man look at this yeah now the Goodwill Superstore in Margate Florida this store is located in North Broward County and it was one of my favorite Goodwill stores back in the day but now it's just mainly clothing uh, I still have some electronics here nothing great um, I, DVD player with an actual con remote control, not bad, you know. Another one here at Denon with a five disc swapper, I think. With the controller, not bad, you know. It's not a great brand, but. And a Philips uh, DVD player with a Wi Fi, plays DVX, not bad, but, you know, it's an old format. This is the media section, just DVDs no blu-rays here um and actually blu-rays are actually very expensive in this store you know they're like five dollars each so even if if i could find any blu-rays here i probably would not buy them at five dollars um looking here and i found the entourage second season the complete second season again I've never watched Entourage um, I didn't heard good things about this uh, this show but it has a, a, f a good cast you know Jeremy Piven I like him you know he's he's good in almost everything he does so yeah this is a buy for me Entourage uh, it's complete let me see if I can find something else like forget about finding games here not gonna find any games oh madman oh now we're talking 
This is one of my favorite uh, TV shows of all time, man. And I don't have it on my collection. I actually don't. I watch on Netflix. And, oh, there you go. Mr. Don Draper. Let's take a look. See if this one is in good condition. But, yeah, no, it looks like it's in great condition. Let's take a look inside. I love this, uh, this art. Don Draper and water. Okay. Yeah, man, this is pristine. This is pristine. This is a buy for me. Immediate buy. You know, every time I find any madman, I'm gonna buy it. I hope I can find all the, the seasons uh, on this thrift stores. Because this is going to be cheap. Now going to check out, look at all this garbage they have on the checkout, man. It's like dollar store stuff here uh, at Goodwill. Yeah, they, they're becoming an actual store, uh, not a thrift store. I don't know. It's it's just weird, all this garbage here on the checkout. There you go, 642 for everything. Not bad. Let's take a look at a pawn shop for a change. This is Value Pawn in Margate, right by the, the Goodwill store we just went. So why not take a look? Uh, they have a quite a nice selection of games here. You know, I have most of these, but the prices, yeah, they're not great. Let's put it like that. They're not thrift store prices. Well, we have Madden 07 for a dollar here. Not bad, but I have that already. Uh, Call of Duty, I have all these for the Xbox 360, UFC, um, a few loose discs. Bases loaded, you know, single uh, single player game, handheld. Two PS2 games for $7 each, uh, quite expensive. A Switch for 140 portable. One of those Chinese portable consoles for $40, very expensive. Now on this side here, I actually found two things I really liked. Uh, there's a PlayStation 2 for $50, and there's this uh, Forza Horizon 5 Xbox controller for $45, which I regret not picking it up. It was brand new. Um, the PlayStation 2 was $50, and I tried to pick it up, but the guy tested for me, and it was not working, so... I passed, of course. Some cool stuff here. Now, before I finish the video, one more trip to the Autism Thrift Store in Boca Raton. This is my favorite store, and oh my god, I could not believe what I saw here today. I entered the store, it was pretty calm, nobody around, and I went straight to the media section like I always do. And I found some Blu-rays. Actually, a nice selection here of Blu-rays and, and DVDs. Beyond the Sea, I did not pick that up. It was a DVD. Now, Lego Batman the movie. Pretty awesome. Ted, unrated. This copy was actually sealed. Uh, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, part one. Uh, nah. Bob's Big Break, no, but the Simpsons movie, brand new DVD with the slipcover, I had to pick that up, and the Lego documentary, breakumentary, if you will, also sealed, so those five, right out of the bat, uh, a buy for me, I did not pick up that Clone Wars, it was, it was DVD, and, and I thought that was it, that was nothing else, I was going to leave, the store and but I kept kept looking like I always do and oh my you would not believe what I found I look in the box on the floor and look at these look at all these blu-rays man it was so much and it was right under the clothing so I put the cell phone down and I look through the box I'll show you later what I what I got but look at this Alright, this is already after I purchased Resident Evil 
Look all this stuff I got, man. Resident Evil, all three movies. They charged me a dollar because it was all three movies on a, in one box. Wally, -E, Cars, Batman vs Superman, Dawn of Justice, Ultimate Edition. Um, we had Pirates of the Caribbean, the entire series, man. Like four movies, Cars three. Uh, the Adventures of Tintin, which is an awesome movie. If you haven't watched, please do. The Hunger Games, uh, the uh, Blade Hunter, five disc complete set, man. Five versions of the movie: Sin City, Indiana Jones, uh, Lord of the Rings, three film collection, all three movies. This is actually the original cuts, but who cares? Rogue One, the Star Wars story, the triple feature, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, 1, 2, and 3, those are the movies from the 80s, uh, Transformers, brand new with the slipcover, man, I, I could not believe this all, and I only got half of the stuff in the box, look, Ninja Turtles is sealed, up, Disney Pixar up, again, pick any and all Disney, Disney and Disney Pixar movie you can get. Die Hard, all four movies in one set. Triple movie pack, Charlie and Chocolate Factory, Corpse Bride, Beetlejuice, great movies. $18, all this stuff, man. $18. Actually, I went back twice, so 18 and 11. Again, $29, I got half of that box. It was pretty amazing, man. It's it's uh, this was the best haul I ever got on a thrift store. Look at this. All these movies were brand new, brand new. Also, Willow, The Lion King, Braveheart, Wall Street. I love that movie. It's great. Michael Douglas, The Letters of Iwo Jima sealed man this is a great war movie you should watch it man it's amazing and flags of our fathers also sealed which is also by Clint Eastwood like those two movies they are by Clint Eastwood and they are must watch if you like war movies Iron Man in blu-ray case is a little broken but who cares inside out Disney Pixar movie awesome movie Ratatouille and the second Wall Street with Shia LaBeouf which is also not a bad movie not as great as the first one but it's it's not bad I actually like Shia LaBeouf people trash him all the time but I think he's a pretty good actor a little bit crazy but good anyway look at this man look at all this this shit man yeah $29 then then I come back the next day I, re I got I, I had to come back the next day and I went into there some people shopping same old stuff clothing all around went straight to the blu-ray DVD section I figured by by then they would have all these movies on the shelves and they actually did look all these blu-rays those are the ones I didn't pick up the other day but I came back to pick them up Prometheus this actually was just, uh, there was not a movie inside, unfortunately, because it's a great movie. But look at that, Hercules, Tangled, The Little Mermaid, The Speakable Me, Zootopia, Madagascar, Roger Rabbit, Home Alone, Daddy's Home, yeah, never watch it. House of Flying Daggers, awesome movie. Another Cars, this one is much better than my copy. March of the Penguins, great documentary. And uh, Bolt, actually I haven't watched that one. And I found a Civilization V. It was actually pretty, pretty new. Um, this is one of the games that probably uh, it doesn't work if you don't have a code because it downloads from Steam. There's nothing on the, on the DVD actually. But I pick it up anyway, it was a dollar. So I decided to pick it up. And I found this one too. A Paul McCartney concert on DVD. 
like I said, anything, Paul McCartney, Beatles, John Lennon, U2, I'll pick it up. Look, there's also a bootleg of Paul McCartney in Brazil, which I want to watch. This looks like a Chinese bootleg Paul McCartney concert, but yeah, who cares? I will watch it. And I'm adding to my collection. Now look at this find. This is Star Wars Remarriage of the Sith as it came out in Japan. This is not Blu-ray or DVD. This is uh, one of the, that old format, which it was, uh, it was the movie on a CD. It was like a MPEG movie on a CD. And it was pretty awesome. You know, it was a Japanese, so I decided to pick it up. Now, yeah, once more, here's all the stuff I've got. You know, it was pretty great. I've, I found some music CDs as well. Um, some John Lennon. Look, other movies I have shown. Oz, the second Oz. Um, I mean, man, this is, this is amazing. I pretty much got the second half. I also got this uh, DVD for Dumbo. It was, it's a Disney movie and it's, uh, it was brand new. So I picked that up, you know. So five again. Guys, you, you have no idea how happy I was to find all this stuff, you know. Mamma Mia, never watched that musical. The Princess and the Frog, I haven't watched it yet as well. Um, I found this uh, this book, this Paul McCartney book. It comes, it's like has all, it has like his story, and he has uh, four music CDs. Uh, the book was had a da has some nice uh, pictures. The book had a damage on the front cover, but you know, a dollar. Who would not pick that up? Some Japanese animation uh, DVDs, Castle in the Sky. Pretty awesome. Studio Ghibli, I think. Paul McCartney uh, CD, Off the Ground, one of my favorites. Uh, John Lennon and Yoko Ono. Double Fantasy is a classic. George Harrison greatest hits. I mean, this was John Lennon uh, also uh, classics collection. Hope of Deliverance. This is a single for Paul McCartney. Hope of Deliverance. Uh, it's a it's a song that's featured in off the ground, but it's a single. I love I love when I find those singles. Sometimes they have he mixes. Uh, they're pretty cool. So, this was a Beatles dreamer uh, how that, I, that I've got. And as a fan of the Beatles, this was great for me. I really enjoyed picking all this up. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I uh, hope you have enjoyed. Uh, please comment, like, subscribe. And again, sorry for the long video. I decided to put all my thrift store uh, trips uh, for 2023 in one video but I hope you have enjoyed I, I left the best for last which is this huge haul if you like movies like I do if you collect movies you probably enjoyed it anyway thanks for watching and have a great day